When's the last time you had like mind blowing sex? Just tell me. Come on, I'm a stranger. We can talk. Four or five months. Ago. Four or five. Oh my god. Uh, and I want to confess in this video right now. I was never actually good at pickup. I recently uh, was binge watching Game of Thrones, and uh, and I was watching the episode where Cersei Lannister she does the, the Walk of Shame, right? Her, her Walk of Atonement, and the, the the evil nun is there, she's shaking the bell, going shame, shame, and I was just like, oh man, I've, what do I have to admit to the world? What do, what have I been lying about? And I do have a confession to make. Are you ready for it? I went back to one of my old videos, the, the one where I'm running around hitting on chicks for 20 minutes. Hi, what's going on? It's me, Sasha, and I'm testing my brand new fancy microphone. It costs 400 pounds. That's like $600. But apparently, it's got excellent recording quality. So let's make some magic. Back from like 2011. And if you read the comments, you know, some of them are like, this is great. But a lot of them are like, this guy sucks with chicks. Silver Spade says, he seems like the type of guy you would never want to be around, ever. Hey, fuck you! I'm a great time to be around. How could you say that? I'm the funnest person I know. People are queuing up to hang around me. You asshole. He's not building enough comfort. What a clown, this guy's a dick. It's true. The comments are true. I do suck. I suck. What am I doing? I'm a little fat. I'm not, I'm not really connecting on a, on a deep level. I'm not being seductive. I'm not just most of the girls flaked. They didn't even reply to my text messages. So clearly, I fucking suck. With his verbal skills, Sasha would totally pull all these chicks if he was actually groomed and dressed like anything other than a smelly bum. But I guess he's doing it that way to prove a point. Yeah. Yeah, I did that on purpose so so you could see that you could dress like shit and still get chicks. I bet I realized something. I realized something. That it's good that I sucked. You suck! I know. Yeah, I fucking sucked at pickup. I was never good at pickup. I was never good at seduction. I fucking sucked. I remember being in interactions with women during that time and thinking like, oh yeah, I need to be like more seductive and you know, I need to be more physical. I should be touching her now and I should be saying this or that. And and, and, I, and I had like all these checkmark things that you're supposed to do, but they all felt so fake and weird that I just refused to do them. And I remember thinking, fuck it, I'm not gonna do any of that shit. I'm just gonna do what feels right for me. Even though I wasn't good at seduction or even pickup or any of those things, what I was good at was being myself. And that, that's really what I'm showing in that video. What, what aspects of myself? Well, not giving a fuck what people think. Don't take this the wrong way, but you are fucking stunning. Thank you. Clearly, I, I, I really, don't give a fuck, otherwise I couldn't have done the approaches. Uh, taking chances, right? Taking chances, like running up and, and starting a conversation even though I might get rejected, that's that's important. That's something I developed and that's really that's a really valuable tool. And the most important one, having a good time. You can tell I'm really having fun there, right? That's the point. I'm a dude, I'm having a good time. It's not about saying the right things or saying the things in the right order or, or being seductive or any of that shit. I'm just fucking being myself. Now, for me, myself is making silly jokes and being outrageous and telling funny stories and sometimes just being silly or whatever. And that doesn't mean you have to do that, but, but that's who I am. That's just really authentic for me. And you can really see that in those videos. You know, I'm entertaining myself. I'm having a great time. I'm hitting on girls. I'm not doing it in a super smooth, fucking awesome way. I'm just being like, hey, you're hot. <laughs> Give me your number. But the women who generally over the years have given me their number and did come out on dates with me and did end up uh, sleeping with me. And yes, I did hook up as much as you can see me failing tons and tons. I also had tons and tons of sex with, you know, a really pretty decent amount of women. Uh, I don't, I'm not gonna brag or anything, but it was fucking, was fucking, what's happening, guys? He's sort of the pushy salesman vibe. Do you want some penis? 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 That would be a pushy salesman. Actually, that would make a really funny video. I might film that. So that's the lesson from those videos, and I only realized later in, in later years that actually it was it was the taking chances and having fun and being yourself and and having social freedom 
right? And doing what you want, i.e. talking to girls you think are attractive, regardless of whether society says it's weird or people think it's weird or whatever. That was the lesson. That's what people got, got from it. And, and, and I realized, you know, many of the guys who've come up to me like, hey, I saw your video. They were never saying, man, you're the greatest pickup artist. No, it was it was the concept. It was the it was the naturalness. It was the... Uh, Gentle Sue says, inspired me to approach more women than I find attractive instead of wondering what if. Thanks. You're welcome. That's the point. The very premise that you could just do what's in your heart and do what's fun and do what feels right for you in your own way, right? Regardless of what's normal, that was what it was. It was that I felt free enough to express myself the way I wanted to express myself. So that's the, the lesson from that video. I was good at being me, and, and I think that's what everybody needs to work on. And it doesn't mean you have to go out there and like pick up tons of chicks. It's just, what is it that you truly want to express in your life? If, if um, you, you know, you do have this social fear and you, and, you, and you can't go up there and talk to people and start conversations, then absolutely social freedom is something you should work on. Authenticity is something you should work on. But uh, do it in every part of your life, right? Every single part of your life. Talk to the people you want to. Uh, follow the diet that you want to. Like watch the shows that you really want to. Read the books that you truly want to that make you happy. Have the career and the job and, and, the, and the pastimes and everything that you want that make you happy. Not what other people say you should be doing or should be reading or should be watching. You know what I'm saying? That's what this really comes down to. I, I, I was just showing authenticity in my in my personal and, and dating life. You know, this is how I went around and <laughs> spoke to pretty girls. And so I'm really proud. I'm proud that I sucked at pickup. Yeah, I fucking sucked at pickup. I was never good at seduction. I fucking sucked. But I was good at the one thing that actually matters. I was good at being myself and expressing myself. So that's the lesson. I really hope you guys are out there working on your authenticity and being who you truly are. And if that is something you want to work on, guess what? I'm doing a world tour in 2019 where I'm going around doing a talk all about social freedom and the authentic life. So click below and get your ticket and see me live. I love you and I'll see you later. Gotta love all the haters. This man has more fun and gets it in more than 99% of people ever will. And uh, you're right. I have gotten it in more than 99% of people. I'd hate to see those other 1% though. Ah, damn, their penis must be sore. <laughs>